Good morning, everyone. It's Brenda Quintana here. I am doing an unscheduled Facebook Live this morning. Um, I've been playing with the products out of the new catalog since I got my pre-order. Actually, it's not a pre-order anymore, my actual order on Tuesday. And sometimes I do kind of an unboxing where I go through and I unbox my my box. But I always feel a little dissatisfied when I do that because I'm just seeing the products in hand for the first time and I'm just giving you my initial impressions. And um, so I just kind of feel like, hello, Cindy Lee. Hello, glad you can join me. Um, I just kind of feel like when I do this unboxing that I don't really get a chance to let you know what I think of the products because I really haven't had a chance to play with them. So I decided this time around I would take my products out and play with them for a few days and I actually haven't really made like samples or anything but I've played with them I've stamped a little bit so you can kind of see you can get my a better impression of what the product is like so I thought I would just go through and um, I've done most of the things that I've ordered not everything I I ran out of time I was like I I was determined to get this video up um, by Friday so I kind of gave myself a deadline so as much as I could play with in the last couple of days I've just done that so why don't we get started and I will show you everything that that I got that I played with so you can see it and get a better idea of what the products are so I'm gonna flip my camera around just give me a second okay there's my view this morning we have a beautiful sunny day today so I'm just going to mention up top here, if you're in the U.S. and you like any of these um, products and you want to purchase them um, and you don't have a demonstrator, um, you can use this host code right here. And if you spend $50 in my um, Stampin' Up! store until June 15th, I will send you a free ink pad color of your choice, like any classic ink pad color that you would like. And I will send that at the um, second half of June. So um, I will mention this um, offer that I'm doing at the end of my video again, but um, that's why this host code is here. And this is my blog, kibisquest.com. And of course, you've probably seen this by now. This is our new um, Stampin' Up! catalog. And it's a really great catalog. I've gotten a lot of great feedback from my customers. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. So um, that is the catalog. If you um, don't have a catalog already and you don't have a demonstrator, all you need to do is place an order with me and I will get you a copy of the catalog. I'll send that out to you for free. So the first thing that I have um, that I've been playing with, actually I played with this this morning, I got this bike ride stamp set and these are called the Build-A-Bike Framelits. When you purchase these together as a bundle, you save 10%, so that's always cool. And I really feel, I kind of feel with this set that it's really worth it to get the framelits with the set because um, I just was playing with these pieces this morning. Um, it really builds a bike so you really um, want to be able to you know stamp this piece and then be able to cut it out you know with this piece it really this alone the framelits alone won't give you what you need to create this thing and I think you almost need this frame piece you almost need to always die cut this so it lands on top of these two wheels otherwise it don't it doesn't make sense so I really think it's one of those things that you you need to to have together um, the cool thing about this set is it's a real true two-step stamping so you know for instance here I've got my little my little dog that I stamped well it's got the outline of the dog which I stamped in soft suede and then the inside I did in crumb cake and then you can also stamp the scarf um, and I did that in our new color which is powder pink so I used actually three stamps to create this image so it is you don't have to do coloring with this set, although you could. If you wanted to, you could, you know, stamp the outline and watercolor it, but you have the images that line up and 
come together. And another thing, like this wheel right here, you've got the outside wheel, and then you've got this frame. So you can you can stamp the, the rubber and the spokes in one stamp, and then you can have this painted edge, this rim edge. So they really work nicely together. Like this metal piece right here has little tiny stamps that fit in the handles, the pedals of the bike, and the seat. So it's kind of cool the way it works. Here are some other pieces. This is a two-step um, stamp the basket and it's die cut. Um, this is um, three steps. You do the outline, the flowers, and then the uh, leaves are separate. Um, these are a couple other little pieces that can be die cut. You know, this little piece that creates this little uh, thing that goes on the back and the little basket. So I really think this is a cool set, but um, uh, you have to like do the, the two-step stamping with it. And I think this is one of those things that you would want to do together. All right, next bundle is this lemon zest bundle. I really like this. I, do, I like the sayings, you know, if life gives you lemons, chuck them right back. I mean, it's really kind of cute the way that they've got, you know, the lemon and the, the slice that could be an orange, a lime, or um, a lemon slice. So I just, I took some of these. Let me take them out. Just, I haven't put them on a card yet or anything, but I just wanted to have fun and see what I could come up with. This lemon, um, I did as, um, I stamped it in Daffodil Delight on Daffodil delight cardstock so the same color ink on the um, same color of cardstock and then I punched it out and I think that made the nicest looking lemon you can see some of the details hard to see in the light of the video um, then I did um, just limes a lime a lemon um, an orange and I just stamped those on white just to see what it will look like. Then I also did them on the corresponding colors. So, um, you know, so Daffodil Delight on Daffodil Delight and Wild Wasabi and um, Pumpkin Pie. This one I tried. This one is on uh, Wild Wasabi on our new Lemon Lime uh, Twist uh, cardstock. And I like the look of that too. Um, these slices punch out with our one and three quarter inch punch. Good morning, Cindy Lee. Oh no, I I already said hello to Cindy Lee. Good morning, Joyce. I just see you joined us. Um, this is the one and three quarter inch punch, which punches these things out perfectly. So that, you probably already have that punch. So um, you this is the punch that punches out the lemon. And again, this can be um, bought together as a bundle, the stamp set and the punch. Um, and these are the leaves. You can stamp them first and then um, punch them out as well. So um, I think along with these cute little greetings, uh, life's short, squeeze it for all it's worth. I mean, it's cute and live live it with zest. Um, you know, it's, it's really, uh, I think it's a really cute set. Anyway, that is just some playing around I did with with this this one. I think it will make some really great summer cards, you know, because we're getting into the summer season and it has a happy birthday. So I think it will make a great summer birthday card. All right. This is my must have set. I, I had to have it and I kind of um, it and it had ended up on the back order list. So other people, I think, liked it, too. Um, it's not on a long term back order because Stampin' Up! produces its own stamps. So it will be back in stock in a few days. But um, this little piggy stamp set. I think it's just adorable. And I just kind of did a little bit of um, stamping with it so far. I just took um, the Im two of the images and I think our new powder pink ink is great for coloring it in if you want a pink pig and I used uh, a blender pen on one and um, my aqua painter on the other and it was just kind of fun. Um, this little stamp right here are little tiny lips so you can stamp that on the pig. I think that's really cute. Um, and the, the greetings are just really cute like this one she believed she could and then over here there's like so she did so you could add that to if you were doing a card and then you know this one is ho hogs and kisses and 
this would make a cute thank you card. This little piggy says thanks, and then this little pig is dancing. It says you make me happy. Just some really happy, fun cards. Another great set for the summer. Um, this one does not come with a die, but I think with this one, you've got the greetings um, that are right underneath, which if you wanted to, a lot of these greetings would be really easy to just cut in between so you could stamp the image uh, without the greeting and then use the greeting further along. Good morning, Catherine. So that's kind of like a, a really fun set. I don't know if you guys like pigs, but I just... I, I thought this was the cutest thing. I don't don't think we've ever had such a comprehensive little pea set. So that's really cute. Okay, another set that I got was the icing on the cake. I don't know why I wanted this one. I just thought I had to have it. So this one, you know, it's got the little piped icing on there. And it, you can actually make a cake. And so I, I think that's it's kind of cool because you can make a cake card, you know, instead of balloons, a balloon card, you know, you, um, you stamp your little border for the cake and then the happy birthday or the congrats look like icing as well. You just stamp them on and then you've got your little rose. You know how sometimes they have roses on the cake and um, leaves. I thought this would be also cool if you did this... Um, as a birthday card and like you don't have to do the rose you know we have so many different things we can put on cakes you could put another image on the cake like if it was a kid's birthday cake and that would be kind of fun too and you know you can give this card and say hey here's a cake without any calories right it's kind of a funny joke but uh, um, I just I thought this was uh, cool to be able to you know to stamp a cake and make it look pretty pretty realistic so um, I don't know if you guys like that idea, but I thought it was great. All right. The next thing I have is A Little Wild. It's a bundle as well. The stamp set's called A Little Wild, and the framelits are called Little Loves Framelits. So these work together. They actually make little tags. That's what this set was designed for. So you can see, like, on this elephant framelit, you can see there's a little um, tab up at the top with a circle. So when you stamp, when you stamp the elephant, actually I got the, I have the bear that I did. So when you stamp the bear, this is the stamp. It's like all one piece. Let me pull it out so you can see a little better. It's all one piece and you stamp it and then you would color it. And I just, I kind of left it plain because I was in a rush. But then you can, on the inside, you can do like a to from that's in this stamp set. Or there's a couple other little greetings that would work really well inside of here. And then you can just tie this on to a gift. And I think this is a really cute baby, um, you know, or for a young child's birthday, you could tie that onto a gift. And I think that's super cute. So I don't know. I, I had to get this. I thought it was really cute. And not only that, there's a beehive and bees. And, you know, my, my team's called the Bee Stampers. And I'm, you know, always talking about the beehive. The beehive is my studio because it's where I go. You know, it's my central location. So uh, another reason I got it was for this cute little beehive. And uh, so it, this, I have a project. I hope I get it done for next week. I have a project that I want to share with you with this um, set. I'm not going to share it today because I, I want to post it as um, a video that I'm going to do um, with this little set. But again, you can get these. If you buy these together, you can save 10%. So um, that is that bundle. All right. The next set I got was message in the bottle and again I don't know this time I am just going for these really kind of cute sets with these punny greetings and you know this is the bottle right here and you've got a couple of options actually more than a couple options for the top you've got this little um, spout right here um, that you could have kind of um, coming up top you have a cork or you have a heart that you can put right above this this bottle um, you have water, so you can float your ship on it. Um, so 
what I did, I just stamped a couple of pieces just for fun, just to see, you know, how it would look, how easy it was to stamp. And I tell you, this one's really an easy stamp. Um, I did the bottle in Smoky Slate. I did um, the ship and the greeting in Night of Navy and the water I did in Soft Sky. And it just took me a minute to stamp all of this and uh, it was just super easy and I love the little greeting you float my boat that's so cute and then um, I thought this was cute too um, this one this octop octopus in the bottle so instead of doing the water I, I wanted my octopus to actually be surrounded by water I, I can't get over the fact that his little head would be sticking out of the water so I actually what I did first is I stamped the bottle and then I took my aqua painter and I just very carefully colored in with soft sky ink the whole entire piece um, right up to the very top and then I, um, I let it dry and then I came back and I stamped my octopus on top of that. And isn't that cute? You octopi my thoughts. I think this will be a really great set for Valentine's Day next year because you know sometimes you need those little Valentines that you give to your friends or like if you have um, children or grandchildren and you help them make their Valentines or you make their Valentines for them I think this would be really cool if you added some hearts like you could do them in the same color scheme but like then add some pink hearts or some red hearts in there I think this would make great great Valentines but during the rest of the year these are just cute little things you can leave little love notes around you know um, there's like you float my boat I love you um, I love you get the message you know you've got all these little pieces of I love you you know it's just you know um, they're just a really cute thing um, it's your day make a splash you know it's it's just a really fun set hello Maria I'm glad you joined us um, I'm just going through a bunch of the things I got out of the new catalog and um, so this one right here uh, I love it it's adorable so the next thing that I got was sharing sweet thoughts and some of you might remember from last year in our catalog we had the everyday jar framelets and we have a stamp set that matches this set of framelets already in the catalog but this one's a really special stamp set because this one is the Ronald McDonald House uh, fundraising set. So Stampin' Up! donates part of the proceeds for every stamp set of, of um, these two. There's either you um, get the, it's either rubber, like the, the cling mount, or you get the wood mount. And they're donating money from the sale of each of these to Ronald McDonald House. And that is a charity that's near and dear to my heart. My sister, um, my sister's son um, had cancer a few years ago and they were in Vancouver, British Columbia, and they stayed at the Ronald McDonald House in, um, in Vancouver, BC. Um, and you know, I used to think that, you know, well, you know, it was, the Ronald McDonald House was for people that, you know, didn't have any money. I had, no clue how devastating it was not only emotionally but financially it was even if you you know were on steady financial ground to have a child who has cancer and then you have to leave your your home because my sister doesn't live close to the cancer hospital and uh, hello Janine and they had to, um, they moved, you know, for several weeks at a time, they were staying at Ronald McDonald House. Now, can you imagine how much money they would have had to pay to stay at a hotel in Vancouver um, for that amount of time? It, it would have been, they would have racked up the bills. Um, and even so, it was very, very expensive. So I think... Ronald McDonald House is, is a great charity and it's something that I really didn't realize would ever touch me or, or, or my family because I just really had no clue that what a financial hit it would be for someone you know to go through that someone who has health care coverage someone that isn't doing poorly financially but 
a sick child can, or even, you know, you personally being sick can, can um, hurt you financially like that. So anyway, off my soap box for now, but this set is a fundraising set. So it matches with the framelits that we already have in the catalog. This, um, is not available as a bundle. It is just available alone. And I did this, I just had fun just doing one little sample here. This is something I would maybe stick on a card, but I just took these strawberries and um, stamped them in, I think I stamped them in, yes, I stamped them in basic black ink and the jar I did in smoky slate. And I just watercolored in the strawberries. That was kind of fun. And then I um, stamped the little lid right here, and I used this um, little framelit right here from this um, framelit set to um, uh, cut it out and then stick it on top. I just think it's so cute. I love this set. If you already have the jar set that matches the framelits, this is a great little add-on set because it will give you some extra images to use. It will give you some different tops to use and different things to put inside and cute little things like sharing sweet thoughts. It's kind of cool. So that is sharing sweet thoughts. And if you're looking for this in the catalog, you might not find find this set it is on the inside back cover sometimes we we skip it because it's all the way at the back and we think we're done with the catalog so it's the inside cov back cover of your Stampin' Up! catalog um, or you can find it online just type in sharing sweet thoughts into the Stampin' Up! store and you, you should be able to bring that up all right moving on I know where I said I wanted to do about half an hour. We might go a little bit over. Um, this is a new background stamp set. And I haven't bought a new background stamp set for a while. But this one intrigued me. Um, marbled. I thought this was kind of cute because um, you know, sometimes we have some marbled paper. So it's a big background stamp. You can stick it on a, what color kind of block is this? Let me grab my block. You have to stick it on like a J, no, F block. F block is what you need to stick this on. Um, or you can get a wood mount and then it comes with a block to stick on. Anyway, it's a big stamp. It covers the front of a regular um, card base. And I just did some really easy stamping with this just to see what it would look like. And I'm like impressed. Isn't that wow? I love that. This is our new color Lemon Lime Twist. And I stamped it on Whisper White. And then this one is Lemon Lime Ink on Lemon Lime Cardstock. So just to give you an idea of the two different looks, if you stamp it on white, it's going to be a little bit more bold and impressive. And if you stamp it on the same color, it's going to be a little bit more subtle. But I just love that marbled look. I think it would make a great kind of neutral background. So um, this is a great uh, new background. I love it. Okay, speaking of backgrounds, we've got um, some new embossing folders. And, oh geez, I'm going to have to grab my catalog for a second because I have forgotten the names of these guys already. And they're not on there. So let me just grab the page so I can tell you what they're called. Okay, this first one that I got is called Garden Trellis. And in the catalog, they use this really dark color. And it's I found it really hard to see the actual pattern. So I went ahead and I ran these through the Big Shot already. So we could take a really good look to see what these ones are like. This one's really pretty. You can see the, the texture in it. It's a nice um, neutral pattern. I think it would be great for masculine cards or like it says it's a garden trellis is that's what it's supposed to mimic so you know you could use this side or that side and a uh, nice background for your floral um, images okay then we've got this one on um, this one undoubtedly is great for floral images this one is a dynamic texture embossing folder they have a little bit more depth to them. This one is called Layered Leaves. And you can see there's different depths to these leaves. So it's kind of like they are layered on top of each other. 
So I just ran that through with a piece of lemon lime twist. Um, I think, again, this will make a great background for florals or maybe even um, Christmas um, or fall. So it's it's a really nice background, something a little different. We haven't seen this before. Then we've got this one. It's called Ruffled. And basically, it's, it looks kind of like ruffled ribbon. And it's got a real layered effect. It is also a dynamic um, textured em embossing folder. So that means it's a little deeper than before. <clears throat> Hi, Kathy. Glad you're here. Um, and so um, it, it really does look like, like it has a lot of texture to it. And uh, so I really like this one too. This one would be great for like maybe baby cards, wedding cards. Um, but, you know, play around with it and see what themes this would look good with. Then this one is called Pinewood Planks. And it's, you know, it's one of the bigger ones. It's also a... Um, dynamic embossing folder and so you've kind of got two layers of patterns you've got these lines that stick out a little bit more and then you've got a more subtle embossing so you can see the wood grain on there you could use it either this way or that way and right now that wood look is really hot so I think this is is great if you're you know creating cards and you want that wood look there's a lot of different uh, reasons to use wood on cards so those are the embossing folders uh, I think we'll do let's do some ribbon next um, so we've got a whole bunch of new ribbon in the catalog and so I'm going to kind of do it in the different thicknesses that we have and these are just samplings of the different um, widths and types of ribbon uh, most of these are available in a few different colors so this one's one of the the newest ones this is called uh, what is the name it is called crinkled seam binding ribbon so it's got a real crinkly look it's like very soft and pretty uh, this one here is called finely woven ribbon. It is half an inch thick and this one's available in our new in colors, our five new in colors. And this one um, is lemon lime twist. Oh, and the finely woven one I did, that one's a uh, fresh fig. No, berry burst. Berry burst, I get berry burst and fresh fig mixed up. This one's in berry burst. Okay, and this one is really pretty. It's got um, a chevron pattern to it. It's called Mini Chevron Ribbon. This one is 3 8 inch wide, and I think it's available in three different colors. This one's Tempting Turquoise, I believe. Bermuda Bay, sorry. Bermuda Bay. And then this one is called Classic Weave Ribbon. And this one um, I got in, I think it's crumb cake, yeah, crumb cake. So all of these kind of are around the same thickness. This one's probably five-eighths of an inch. Yeah, the first one's five-eighths, this one's half an inch, and these other two here are both three-eighths of an inch. Then we've got some kind of fun new ribbon and the skinnier ribbon we've got some ombre ribbon this one's lemon lime twist it's ombre because it goes from light on one edge to dark on the other we've got this ribbon that's got the stitched edging to it kind of looks the same on both sides this one's called it's called stitched edged ribbon and this one's um, Pacific Point and White, and it's available in a few different colors. Then we've got this one, which is, it's called Double Stitched Ribbon. And the reason it's double stitch is it's got an X on one side, and it's got double stitching on the other side. So it's got kind of two different looks depending on which way you lay it on the card. and. These two are a quarter of an inch wide, and this one, I'm trying to see, 
This one also says a quarter of an inch. It looks, I guess it's the same. It's just the ombre that's making it look like it's thicker. So you've got some different choices and each of these comes in some different color options, but that's just an idea of, you know, the, the width and the style of the ribbon for you. Then we've got the skinniest ribbon that is new. And I know this one right here, this copper one, is going to be really popular. It already went on the back order list uh, once. It is called, let me find, it's called Copper Trim. It's a quarter of an inch thick. This is a really kind of a nice neutral ribbon that you could, you know, use on many different cards. I think it will be really hot this fall and also for Christmas cards. I think that's a really cool look. Then we've got this ribbon and this one's called, where is it? Sheer Ribbon and it's a quarter of an inch thick too. This is in Fresh Fig. So it's just a really nice skinny ribbon that you can um, sneak on cards and probably make cute little tiny little bows. So those are two options for skinnier ribbon. And the copper only comes in the copper color, but this, um, this sheer ribbon comes in a few different colors. So um, you'll have some color options with those as well. All right. Boxwood wreaths. These are a new product. I think this is going to be really popular at Christmas um, because if you get that door stamp, um, I forget what it's called. It has home in it. Um, if you want to put a wreath on the door, this is a really realistic wreath. So let me pull a wreath out. This is what they look like. You get 12 in a package and they are like, they feel and look pretty realistic. And so it's, they're kind of cool. You could stick that on a door um, that, um, that's set with the framelit in the door. Or you can pull these apart and um, they can become, you know, you can cut them up and you can use pieces of these on cards or you could use them kind of as, as a banner um, across a card. So different options with these because it doesn't just, it isn't just a wreath, but um, this is just kind of a fun, uh, different type of an embellishment that will add a little bit of dimension to your cards. Okay, speaking of dimension, I've got here embossing paste. And if you know me well, I'm not really known as a technique girl, but I was intrigued. I had to get it and I just kind of wanted to play around with it to see what it would do. And so when you get these, I recommend you kind of need three things to do this. You need the embossing paste. You need the palette knives. They come, there's three palette knives in this piece. So you've got these three. And then you've got some masks. And these are what you spread the paste across on the cardstock. So you've got this pattern right here with these little tiny uh, diamonds. You've got a brick pattern. You've got a big medallion and you've got clouds. So I played around with the clouds the other day and basically you just take a piece of cardstock, you take your, um, your mask and I don't know if I can line this up, probably not. Oh, okay. So I just lined this up on my piece of cardstock. You want something to protect your surface because this is a bit of an art project, you know, you get a little bit messy with this paste and then you just take the paste and you smear it on over top and then you lift off and you're left with this and you're going to need a little while for it to dry. Um, you know, probably maybe it probably will only take about you know, 10 minutes, but I let mine dry for about 20 minutes before handling it. And the other thing you want to do is you want to kind of sit it up against something so the back can dry too, because the paste does have moisture in it. So you need the the moisture to, you know, get out of the entire cardstock before you stick it on a card. So I would lean it up against it, something so you can get it to dry from the back. But what I love about this, it really is like, 
they're like clouds. They've got texture to them. They're dimensional. So I think this this cloud one would look really cute um, with a hot air balloon on top of it. And it, it's, it's fun, you know, and you can add ink to it. Stampin' Up! has a video that shows you how to kind of do the process from start to finish um so i didn't do that here that's time for another video you know you need a little bit more time to show that but the other cool thing with this paste is you can take dyes that you already have and i just used a snowflake dye um from one of our new um stamp sets it's um the seasonal one that has snowflakes and that little adirondack chair well, I just die cut a snow out of a piece of cardstock and I used it to create a mask and then I put it over this piece and then I smeared it on top. So I created this little snowflake and then I punched it out uh, with our new punch. Oh, I don't have that over here. Let me grab that. So, sorry. Um, okay. Sorry, had to go across the room. I forgot I put some things away. Um, so this is our new um, punch. It's called the Starburst Punch. And it is approximately, let me grab a ruler. Let's have a look. It is approximately just a little bit bigger than two inches. So it layers nicely with our two inch circle punch. So probably did these reverse order. Um, I probably should have done the blue background so you could see it better in the white circle in the center. But you can see that those two layer up nicely. Or you could go a little bit smaller. So that's our Starburst Punch, a little over two inches wide, this one right here. Then we also have a new Circle Punch. That's not the one that I used for this though. Um, but it could create another layer on, on the back. So, you know, you could use them um, the the starburst and this one together this one's two and a quarter inches I always get the circle punches because I love to be able to sit there and punch out things quickly you know sometimes if you're in front of the TV it's nicer to have a circle punch than it is to crank through dies in front of the TV so uh, that's why I love my circle punches so those are two new punches they are basically stand alone punches that's why I forgot to bring them out and showcase them but they are they are good stuff all right so that is the embossing case shove that over to the side couple more things um so the um, pearl jewels and the rhinestone jewels they were just reconfigured in the catalog you get the same sizes you get the large medium and small you just don't get the um we used to have a little strip that you could use um to line things up you don't get those anymore but most of the time i didn't use those strips anyway and i just ended up cutting them apart so just a little bit of a different configuration for these but um the same the pearls though i have to say they are a little bit different we used to have a really really tiny pearl that was smaller than the small here and we've got a new size that is in between um the large and the um, medium one we had before so we've no longer have the really tiny ones we just have um, the small a medium and a large that kind of mimic the rhinestone jewels a little bit better so I think they'll be a little bit more useful the really tiny pearls were cute but they were hard to use because they were so small and they were so tiny that they didn't always show up on a card well so I love the new configuration a um, couple of adhesives that we have that are new. We've got mini Stampin' Dimensionals, and they're really cute, and I'm so glad we have these because I sometimes end up, I ended up cutting apart. This was the original size on my left here, and then on my right, there's the new size, the smaller, the mini Dimensionals. So they're about a quarter of the size of the original ones. Sometimes you have an embellishment that is really small and you want to be able to stick it on and I would have to cut a bigger dimensional apart to get that small little piece. Now we've got them on a sheet and you get three sheets of these mini dimensionals. You're going to have, 
you're, you're just going to take you a really long time to get through this pack. So, you know, it's, um, it is a good thing. So I'm glad that they, they have these. Sometimes it's hard to get excited about adhesive, but really, you know, you have to deal with certain things all the time and adhesives. If you don't have good adhesives, it's a real pain. So, um, those, those will be a welcome addition. All right. So, the last thing I want to talk about is we've got we've got these new adhesive sheets. They're called multi-purpose adhesive sheets, and they come in this pack of um, 12 by 6 inch sheets. Let me pull a full sheet out. It's quite large, but it will go through a big shot. So um, the width will go through a big shot. So that's cool. How you use these is you peel off. Um, says peel here so you just peel off this first layer and you stick a piece of cardstock on there let's say you were gonna die cut happy birthday you look at your die you measure it and you decide what size you would need to cut out the happy birthday then you go ahead and you stick it on your adhesive sheet I cut around the piece of cardstock then you're going to put the die on top of the cardstock and run it through the big shot and then if you're using the happy birthday die like I was here you get this piece and now it's die cut and it's got another piece that you peel off and now this whole back of happy birthday is sticky so if you don't like to mess with the liquid glue or the fine tip glue pen um, you can now have a sticky back without getting your fingers sticky at all. I, when I was doing this, this back lining comes off very easily. So it, it's not a big deal to get the lining off. You just kind of have to flick the edge a couple times and it comes right off. It's not hard at all. And then you can stick this on a card. I didn't have a card to stick this on yet. So, um, but uh, you get the idea. Um, so that's what these are for, especially those fine little images that, or words that you have that it's hard to get adhesive on and stick on a card. Now you can do like the whole back and it will stick on the card really, really well. So that is it for my little um, product presentation. I know these aren't like full cards and projects yet, but it will give you an idea of some of the products that we have um, that are available now. Um, and if you're interested in ordering, if you're placing an order of $50 or more um, until June 15th, you can get a free ink pad from me if you use this um, host code right here. So um, you can just go to uh, either QBsQuest.com or if you go directly to the Stampin' Up! store and you use this host code, it will put you in touch with my um, with me and link me up to me being the demonstrator and then you can go ahead and do that and once you placed your order just send me an email and let me know which classic ink pad you would like and I will send it to you um, in the second half of June so there you go I hope you enjoyed let me turn myself around let me turn myself around okay okay Okay, here I am again. I did a lot of talking and um, if you have any questions about the products that you saw, please um, put a message below this video and I will go in and I will answer them if I can or I'll try and find out the answer for you. So, um, oh, you're welcome Joyce. I'm glad you liked um, seeing all the products. It was kind of fun for me to play with all the products usually I you know do a box opening and sometimes that's a little limiting because I can't really show you what the products do yet and I haven't had a chance to play with them yet so I felt a lot better about doing this kind of thing where I've actually gone through and looked at the products a little bit better and kind of decided you know how they could be used and um, while they're not all full projects yet you can get a taste for how you know just a few more steps and you will have a card or a 3d item 
Um, so look for some new projects using these um, new items over the next few weeks. And as I said, just if you have any questions at all, just um, put them down in the just you know down below the video. Just add a comment um, and. Um, uh, just let me know. Um, and thank you, Catherine. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed the video. So I hope you guys all have a great weekend. I hope you have sunny skies and um, a great time this weekend. All right. Bye for now.